Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we're looking at some of the add-on activities that we have that go with this month's lab, Rosie Research and the Pirate's Treasure. And so we, in the lab, we do a lot of shipbuilding and a lot of sort of fun engineering things. And one of the add-on activities is called the Hulking Hull, and this is for some older kids. And what you do is you design a few different types of ships. So here I have just a rectangular plane type of a ship. And you do something where you measure the volume of the ship. And you can do this by either pouring dry rice into here or sand or dirt and then measuring how much that is with a measuring cup or something similar. Or you can do it with water. So I'm just going to fill up my ship with water. And then once it's to the brim, I can put it in my beaker and then I can read off how much volume my ship has. It's just about 25 milliliters is the volume of this ship. And then you're going to float it. And in the add-on activities, there's a printout for this where it has you draw your ship. It gives you a couple ideas of different hull sh um, shapes. And it's got space for you to put all this information in a table. And so now I'm going to float my ship here. And you're going to measure how many pennies does your ship carry before it sinks? So one, two, three, and you'll notice it's getting lower and lower. Four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight, nine. Okay, so nine pennies is when it sinks. And then you can figure out the density of your ship by dividing the mass of your ship, which is going to be those nine pennies, by the volume, which is going to be the 25 milliliters. Now you'll have to change the pennies into grams to be able to get it. And a one penny is two and a half grams. And you'll look at how different hull shapes fare better or worse in terms of getting more pennies in there and how much volume do they have. Is it because it's the volumes changing or because of how the pennies are going in? So hopefully you'll enjoy this add-on activity for the older kids. We would love to hear your questions and comments down at the bottom of the video. Feel free to become a patron if you love what we're doing. We're making fun science labs for our kids all of the time, and you'll get them every single month, and you'll get all of the add-on activities, the parent-teacher guides, all of the whole kit and caboodle is in there. We also, if you just want the Pirate's Treasure Lab, you can get that at rosyresearch.com shop. And feel free to follow us on social media to see what we're going to be up to next time. We've done lots of fun things. We've saved time travelers using forces. We've saved the world from the asteroid of doom, learning optics. And so who knows what will be next? Can't wait to have you join us.